No matter if you just opened a brand new Switch, or if you've been playing the Nintendo Hybrid since the very beginning. I played this system before you did. That's no brag, it's just fact. I was there when Reggie was a thing and he went Gah! in his massive hand and the Switch looked tiny. I was like, dude, is that gonna be big enough? And then I held it and I was like, oh, okay, the, the screen's a good size. It was New York, it was January. It was a fantastic time, but I've made this system my life. So I've got five things you need to know and I feel like I should know because I am Switch Force, and this will help any Switch owner out, whether you just got it or you've had it for seven years. The first tip is I love you. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. I'm Zach from Switch Force. This is my video. Here we go. The first one really is something that I use. Oh, hang on. Phone call. Hey, Joseph, what's up? It's my editor. No way! Your mom, the audacity. Oh my gosh, his mom got him an ugly switch. What do you, what do you mean by an ugly switch? Oh, it's just plain colors, no special edition. Dude, what the heck? What kind of holiday is that? Yeah, I got you. All right, I'm going to solve his problem, but I'll also solve it for all of you. Because maybe you have a boring switch. Boo! I got just the remedy for you. Enter Damascus from Dbrand. This is holographic vinyl. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. This is the sickest way to make your Switch or your OLED look amazing. And I am in love. Damascus first dropped in 2021. They brought it back because everyone said, we like doing this. And it looks great on the Switch. There's three colorways, and every order comes with a special all black, triple black Damascus colorway. And if you click the link in the description down below, you can grab one with my link, and it really helps support. So if you love what I've done, all the way back from January of 2017 to now, I'd appreciate it. Plus, these are legit so sick. They're easy to apply, they stay on forever, and the videos they have to help you get it on, that lady, I guarantee you, does not get paid enough. She kills it. She does an amazing job. Okay, the skins come in these nice little packages. It feels like you're opening up a gift from grandma. The skins are looking all good. They got this super sweet 3M paper, which don't discard it. Like, you might think this is worthless, but it's really helpful. Like, it's the most important thing. You got shaky, goofy fingers like I do, and you're like gooping all over the place. This is a way to keep things juicy. The 3M is great. The video tutorials are great. The skins are great. You put them on the Joy-Con, you put them on the system, you put them on the dock, and everything is going to shine like you're a disco ball from the heavens above. And who doesn't want their Switch to actually look good? Boring Switches, be gone. I solved it for you. The D-Brand Damascus skin is here, and you better get it before it's gone, and you best use my link because I'm Zach and I love you, and I'd only recommend something if it's really good, because remember, I played the Switch first. I feel like I'm starting to sound really arrogant, so let me help you on set. I promise I'm not. It was a fun event. I'm just trying to tell you to establish credibility, like, yo, I know what's up with Switch, and that's why I think you need to develop an other region account arsenal. Maybe just Australia, that's fine, but if you want to get real cool with it, it's adding in Japan, it's adding in the UK, because those different regions all have different products. They sometimes have different price points, but they also have different demos, different release times. And if you really wanna milk the most out of your Switch, creating another region account is easy peasy, free, legal, Nintendo approved, and makes it great. Okay, I have a video that I'll link to in the description if you wanna see the full guide, but it's pretty darn simple, you just need a little bit of a, a little bit of an address that maybe you found on the web and then you need to make sure that you pick which region and find a good one and this is how you can play games early this is how you can get extra demos it's just really nice number two though is you really really want to know about using your gold coins gold coins man gold coins are good it's hard to get gold coins out in the real world nintendo they give you some free ones. They give you some to effectively make your life a little bit cheaper. And I feel like not a lot of people know about or use them. Every time I go to cash in on the eShop, it's like, put in your credit card, use the PayPal, Nintendo gift card. But there's also a small little fine print that you can use your gold coins. And you acquire gold coins through being a value Nintendo customer. And if you've had your Switch for a long time, or you just got in on some eShop gems, they're doing the whole House of Indies releases. I know you want Sports Story. 
Silk Song is coming soon. There's a bunch of classics like Celeste and Katana Zero and Steam World Dig. A lot of great games. The gold coins accumulate, and you can cut three, four, five, six, seven. I've done 12. I've cut 12 bucks off a game with my gold coins. Please do not forget about gold coins. Number three is that Nintendo Switch Online expansion pack is a great value. Don't listen to anybody that tells you otherwise, and I can make it an even better value by family packing it up. Do you have a family of Switch owners? No, that's okay. You don't need one. How about some friends? How about some classmates? How about a few Mario Kart competitors down at the local game store? I don't know, but you can get up to eight people to get in on a family plan, and it's going to make it infinitely cheaper for everybody. Plus, now with the Mario Kart Course Booster Pass, the Animal Crossing DLC, the Splatoon 2 DLC, the full stable of N64 games, including eventually GoldenEye Multiplayer, and Sega Genesis, which just got an update, you're looking at a lot of content and a value proposition that is phenomenal. $50 for the expansion pack, make it even cheaper with a family plan or a friend plan, however you want to label it, and away you go. Switch Online is kind of a must. Number four is this right here. Pro. It's the best way to play. The Joy-Con, like, they're fine. I like that you can pass them around, but if you do not have a Pro Controller, you're missing out on two things. One, you're missing out on the best way to control the Switch games, but two, you're missing out on possibly using a fixture, which is, like, the best way to play Switch games. You know I love this product. It is awesome. It is able to snap the Pro Controller in, and you slide the Switch in, and then it's Pro on the go, and there's literally nothing better. You want to end the video here like you can because there's nothing better. The Pro Controller and the fixture combined to deliver the best way to play Nintendo Switch hands down ever, forevermore. No contest. Flawless victory, okay? That is what you got to do. And the Pro Controllers do come in a lot of special spectral colors, right? They don't have any uh, ones that glow like this unless you're going to get in on the skin game, which... I just can't stop looking at this. I've done my Xbox, I've done my MacBook, and now I've done my freaking Switch. Everything is shiny. Anybody that comes to my house can be like, dude, put on your sunglasses. Welcome to the Damascus zone. But anyhow, I do love the special editions of the Pro Controller. The Splatoon 3 one is pretty nifty. I do like the Xenoblade Chronicles ones a lot. I got a nice Monster Hunter Rise black and gold, and I even have some cool other ones as well, like... Smash Brothers, I think. It's really hard. The lights are so bright here, but Pro Controller and Fixture is the way to go. Which brings us to our fifth and final thing you must know, which is... Memory card. Like, a memory card is basically going to become a necessity if you are someone who plays a more than five games. Like, the Switch does have onboard memory, and the OLED does double that onboard memory, but if you plan to download games, if you don't want to have to deal with re-downloading and erasing and re-downloading and erasing, if you want to go digital and take advantage of all the cool eShop sales, all the demos, all the games, a memory card is pretty much going to be a must. I love the Lexar Play Card. That is made specifically for Switch. It comes in a bunch of great sizes, up to a terabyte, which is only for like the huge crazy players, but if you do get that card, you probably never need another one again. Down to 128 gigs, it's a lot of storage still, and usually those are on sale for like 15 to $20, which feels like a small price to pay to have all your stuff on your Switch all the time. My internet just went down yesterday, stuff like that. It's nice to have my games. I want to have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, boom, ready to go for when they release the next course booster pass wave. Just trust me, a memory card will make everything better. These five tips will make everything better. Your Switch will be good to go and your Switch experience as a Nintendo fan will only increase. You can also shine if you want, but for now I'm going to sign off and say thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Click that dbrand link if you want to be cool and you want to look flashy. Your friends will need sunglasses, but you will love it. And one more time, Dbrand, please pay your tutorial video lady more. She does such a good job. Mwah. Until next time, though, everybody, stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive out there. Love you lots. Switch Force. Out!